seems legit. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go up to file and I wanna import a picture. Um, so unless you've already got a Lightburn file, you pretty much always are going to choose import. So we're gonna import and then I have called it hot chocolate for my convenience. So we're going to open that. And so then we get this. Um, so before we even resize or anything, I'm going to right click and we're going to trace the image. Uh, and then the purple line that you see here is what they're going to trace. And I'm going to delete the image. I'm going to turn this one on here. It was off before, but I've decided to turn it on. So it gets rid of the image and just traces the outline that I want. Um, so you can adjust all of these things and you can do more or less like this. Um, I want no cutoff, so that's fine. So we're just going to click OK. And then we're left with this image. Now, from there, it is too big to go onto my little mini shaker here. And so we need to work out how big of a space we want. So you need to grab a ruler for that. I have one in my drawer here. And we're just going to measure. Now, this is in inches and millimeters. I've set the program to millimeters because I can just work it out better. Um, and it's, it's five centimeters from the edge of here to the bottom. Now, obviously I don't want it to go the whole way. So I think I only want it three centimeters or 30 millimeters, which is like one and a quarter-ish inches uh, if you work in inches. So I am going to come up to here and you wanna make sure that this here lock is on. Um, that way it won't distort the shape. And I'm gonna go to height and I'm going to put 30 millimeters. And then that will adjust everything accordingly. And if you scroll the wheel on your mouse, this part here, uh, we can zoom in. And if you click and hold that wheel, and then you can drag it across so that you can see. So now that is about this big. So it's gonna take up most of the space, but we've just got a little bit of a gap, which is what we want. So now we need to rotate it. So we're gonna put it on a rotary. So we're gonna come up here to rotate. If you click three times, it'll highlight everything for you. We're gonna go 90 degrees and hit enter, and it turns it to the side. Um, and then we're gonna go up to this thing here, um, and this turns, enables the rotary, and I've got a roller. So this is actually what it looks like. If you click chuck, it shows you the other type. Uh, but I only have a roller, that's what we're gonna go with. And then here, where it says object diameter, we're again gonna take our ruler and it is 55 or 57 millimeters according to my ruler. So we're gonna put in here 57 and then that also works out the circumference. You only need that if you were gonna put the design the whole way around, but we're not, so it's fine. So we're just gonna click okay. And then we need to go outside and plug this into the machine to get it going. All right, so now I'm, I've got the machine off I'm going to plug this in up here like this and then we need to add some feet. So I just have mine stored like this in a cupboard. Um, this is obviously it needs to be much taller. So I'm going to put two feet on each side and just hope that that is then enough. Uh, so you just screw the feet in. It's all fairly quick which is good. Um, I'm taking off the little rubber stopper. Now you can't see me in this corner, but there's little rubber stoppers. Um, I'm just gonna obviously take them off for this. Screw them up. Now I always put my um, the X tool part in the home. So I'm just gonna turn it up like this so that I can get to the other two feet. So we're gonna start by again, taking off the rubber bits separating them so I've got two feet on each. Now you can buy extra feet on the website if you plan on doing some really big tall stuff. Um, I suppose it depends on what you're buying it for but if you were buying, if you were going to like laser um, like cute boxes and stuff like car, uh, like wooden little boxes and crates you'd obviously just need more feet to get it up higher. So now that that is tall enough, oops, I'm going to make sure it's sitting on my table correctly and then I'm going to bring this over and there's a little thing on the side that you flick down 
because that's how tall this needs to be. So I'm going to go to the center part of here, lean it on there, lock this back in like so, and then lift up the little arm like that. Okay. So now I need to turn the machine on like so. I'm also going to be needing my um, goggles in a second. So the first thing I want to do is I'm actually going to send this back home. Like this. Because I always like it to be in the home position. It just works out better. Um, and then, I wish I was still recording this screen. I'm actually going to take, there's a little thing, and we're going to go basically into the center of the design, and that's going to tell you where I need to set this up. So this actually needs to be set up there like that. And I turn on my roller. So now I need to, I'm going to hit frame. Oh wait, why did that not work? Roller, enable rotor. I forgot to click the enable rotary, so that's why it didn't work. This is why you always frame things. <coughs> so it's not actually in position, so you can just grab this and bring it to position like that. Let's frame it again. And I still want to bring it over a little bit, so you can kind of pick which thing you're going to move. You can move them all, really. I'm just going to try that one more to double check that I'm happy, of which I am. So now I have set it to power 100, speed 3, and we are going to click start, and off we go. So now that it's done, I can take it out, and this is what it looks like, and it's got like a little bit of a residue on it. So I am using um, Isopo, Isocol rubbing alcohol, which I got from the chemist or aisle in Coles. I was going to put some on one of my glorious cloths that I made out of a bed sheet. That's a different video. And then I'm just going to wipe it over, and look at that. All the residue comes off and leaves us with nothing but fabulousness. I love it. Uh, so now, there's all the, the brown residue that came off. Just wipe it clean and it is good to go. I am still gonna wash this. I haven't washed it yet because uh, I assumed that it, this would make it dirty, which I wasn't wrong. Um, so I'm gonna go and wash it and then I can put the hot chocolate in it. But that's really cute. And I think that was like three or four dollars from one of those like bargain shops. So that's a really fun gift. You could do like a set. People do tea and coffee. You could do all kinds of things. All right, guys, I'm off.